Meanwhile, the worker shortage is leading some employers to change their recruiting efforts, saying outright that applicants don't need a COVID-19 vaccine to work for them. Team 12's Adriana Loya spoke to two Valley businesses that are struggling to find workers and are trying this particular approach. No vaccine, no problem. That's the tagline some businesses are betting on to hook people into applying to one of their many empty positions. No vaccine mandate. No vaccine required. That's the new headline some employers are including on their job postings when people are looking for a job online. Out of desperation, I was hoping that I would grab attention. Samir Trehan owns Delta Shipping Inc., a trucking company that operates in 46 states across the U.S. I have half my fleet uh, sitting across the country because of Flacco drivers. Along with increasing pay 40%, adding full benefits and bonuses, he says people not applying. I am aware that most of our drivers are not in any, uh, in any hurry to get a vaccine. So I posted ad uh, online over the past few weeks in several states. We were having uh, difficulty finding caregivers to that point. First Light Home Care of Goodyear using the same technique. As soon as it went up, we had an influx of applications. I think the first day we had in the upwards of almost 60 applications of yeah. to that ad. Owner Leslie Newman says most of their applicants are healthcare workers or caregivers from other companies that require immunization. It's not like we're against the vaccination. It's just we just want to let everybody know it's a choice. The vaccinated owner says since they are a non-medical home care business, it allows them not to require them. Clients request non-vaccinated caregivers specifically, mm -hmm. you know, so we accommodate that. We also accommodate clients that request vaccinated caregivers. For them, the ad proved to be successful. For truck drivers, not so much. Things are so bad in our industry, even then, I've just got three applicants. Leaving his business in a tight spot. If this continues for a few more months, I'm not sure if uh, our company would be able to sustain. But hopeful things will turn around. Adriana Loya, 12 News.